Hi guys, I'm Tandra, Artistry by Tandra, and I am in the process of learning every single piece of cosmetic that Mineral Fusion has in their product line. As you know, well, maybe you don't know, but I will be repping with them and I have less than 25 days to get my product knowledge up and as well as my skill in applying this makeup. Now, yes, I am a professional makeup artist, but this line is different because it's organic and it's natural. So you're going to be going on a journey with me and I hope that you decide to come along while I learn how to master this product line. I'm so excited and thankful to be a part of this um, demo team and of course, you know, practice makes perfection and I just want to be as knowledgeable as possible and have very sharpened skills so that I can put my best face forward about this particular product line. So if you like the look that I created from a few of the products I pulled out of the kit, then stay tuned to watch the video. Mineral Fusion, Minerals on a Mission. Okay, so today I'm gonna start with the Revitalizing Eye Treatment. And it says that it is a deeply moisturizing cream with revitalizing minerals, peptides, and botanicals to rejuvenate the skin, instantly firm, brighten dark circles, and repair wrinkles. And then I'm going to apply the facial moisturizer with SPF 40. This ultimate anti-aging moisturizer plus mineral SPF 40 defends skin from UV damage and delivers natural age defense to revitalize and firm for more youthful skin. And with my concealer brush, I'm going to apply warm concealer to, I'm gonna use the darker of the duo, darker color of the duo, and I'm gonna apply it to my spots. Just to do some covering. All right, so now I'm gonna take the same darker color and I tell you what it looks a lot lighter on me than it does in the actual container so I'm applying that as my eyeshadow base because I really don't see a eyeshadow right now that I could use for my brows. I'm going to use this Touche brow color. It's an eye pencil, but I'm going to use it to fill in my brows. And then I'm going to take a disposable mascara wand and just comb my eyebrows and go from there. All right, so Density Eyeshadow Trio. This is a mineral eyeshadow and it's all natural colors. There are no artificial colors. I'm gonna start with the lightest one and put that all over my eyelid. And I'm using my eyeshadow brush. One good thing about the eyeshadow is it has age-defying antioxidants and skin-soothing botanicals. It contains vitamin C and E, pomegranate, white teas, and red teas, aloe vera and sea kelp. I am using my eye contour brush to apply the, it's more like a purple color into my crease. I found that using the eye, eye contour brush was a lot easier than trying to use my eyeliner brush. And I'm just doing a little more blending. The mineral colors are pigment. Um, now I noticed that the lighter color w was like a buff, the buff color and the kind of purple color are both matte and the more pinker color, which I'll get to in a few minutes, has more shimmer in it. But now I'm getting ready to 
apply color using radiant and radiant. It's illuminating powder and I'm actually going to use the lighter color on my highlight on my brow bone. Now this may be for your cheekbones and where the light naturally hits your face but I'm actually using this quad for my shadow and I picked up a little bit of the pink and I'm putting that pink on my lid as well. All right, so of course, because I'm getting ready to start my foundation, I'm using their eye makeup remover to clean up my under eye. And one thing that I noticed is while I'm wiping to create that angle, it was like I was wiping off a mask. I mean, that eyeshadow is set on there. So that's definitely a plus for me. Now I'm going to apply their face primer and face primer, as you know, it creates the perfect canvas. Their fa face primer contains vitamin C and E, sea kelp, white and red teas, and pomegranate. All right, so I'm interested in figuring out what foundation to use in the mineral line. And I'm going to start off with the Sheer Tint Mineral Foundation. Of course, it has minimal, very light sheer coverage with a dewy finish. And I am applying this with my fingers only because if I use a sponge, I might just, you know, the product gets absorbed by the sponge. So I'm applying it with my fingers and at this moment I put too much on my hand and it's just like wow there is no way this is going to absorb into my face. So I reach for a sponge because the one thing that I was trying not to do is what I'm going to have to do to absorb some of this product. So I am blending a lot of product down with the sponge into my skin. Why did I choose warm? To be perfectly honest with you, I kind of felt like that was the best match for my skin tone, but because I have combination to oily skin, that dewy look is not necessarily going to be good for me. So I have picked up Deep One in their pressed powder foundation and I'm going to use the Flawless Brush out of their brush system to go ahead and apply the pressed powder foundation to help matte my skin a little and give me more coverage. It looks like the, um, it looks like the pressed powder gives more coverage than, definitely gives more coverage than the sheer tint. So. I'm going to go with this and I'm not going to try to work because it's mineral and I don't know too much about minerals. I'm not going to try to like work it in too much, but I am just kind of like gently pressing the product onto my face and just buffering a little. So I don't want to get that ashy look. That's why I keep like looking into the camera to see, okay, how is this coming across? Um, on camera and once again I am only using natural light okay so yeah that's my mother calling I'm gonna answer that phone call but it doesn't matter because this is actually gonna be mute now I'm using the volcanic eye pencil and I really like the color that it gives off it's um, a dark gray and I'm applying that to my waterline now in hindsight, 
Um, I actually see that I probably would not, because they don't have a liquid liner, I don't think. They have a liquid liner in their line. But because um, I'm so used to having liner on my top eyelash, I'm going ahead and putting the liner on my top eyelash. But in hindsight, when I look at it, you know, I probably won't do that again. And now I'm applying the mascara, the volumizing mascara in jet, and I am using a disposable wand with this. Oh yeah, and I also want to thank Isabella for uh, reaching out to me and giving me this opportunity, and I'm so excited to be a part of the team. Now I'm using the Limp Pencil and Eggplant and I'm lining my entire lip. Then I'm going to follow with the lipstick and they call it Exotic and top it off with Sensitive Liquid Lip Gloss and I guess that's the name of the lip gloss, the name of the color because I couldn't find like another name but it is sure a pretty color. And um, I put that lip gloss on and it feels good. One thing that you don't see in this video is my cheeks, but I put blush on using their cheek brush and the color flashy. And I also uh, moisturize my skin with their body lotion. It's unscented and it gives you a radiant look as well. Okay, so I hope you enjoy watching this and I have um, taken some photos. Once again, like I said, I'm using natural light. I'm sitting in front of my bedroom windows and catching the light and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Like I said, this is a learning curve for me. I'm learning the mineral line and what it means to use organic and natural products. And I feel great. My skin looks great. I'm excited. So I hope you stay tuned and stick with me while I work on another look. Happy New Year.